So you've had a long day at work, you're exhausted. You get home, you take a shower, you get into bed, and you hear that noise. The paw licking, beginning at the base of your feet. So why do dogs lick their paws? I'm gonna explain this to you guys in this video and give you the number one reason that dogs do it. All right guys, so I'm gonna read you a DM from one of my followers, Vanessa, and she says, so why is my dog constantly licking his paws? I get into bed and I hear that sound and I just can't sleep. Is there something I can do about it? And why does he keep doing this? So this is a super common veterinary appointment and regular DM question that I get on a daily basis. So why does your dog lick their paws? I have four with me, a super cute Frenchie with a ton of energy. And foot licking and chewing is something you should always talk to your veterinarian about. Have them assess your dog's feet to make sure there's no redness, swelling, odor, infection, or something stuck in their foot causing them to lick their feet. Most dogs who lick and chew at their feet are either bored or cleaning off their feet for an unknown reason. But when they lick or chew at their feet a lot, that's a different story. If your dog is persistently licking and chewing at their paw pads, you do need to consider something worse like a skin or nail bed cancer or an autoimmune disease. I don't wanna scare you, but that is something that your veterinarian will assess on your dog. But the most common thing for licking and chewing of their paws is an allergic skin disease. A diagnosis of allergic skin disease is ruled out when all the other causes are not the reason for your dog's constant paw licking behavior. Veterinary dermatology specialists can do allergy testing on your dogs. Environmental allergies that trigger paw licking can be from grass, pesticides, insect bites, cleaning supplies, or even their food, which stimulates their immune system to overreact. Dogs with overly yeasty skin or hormone diseases are also prone to having itchy paws. All right guys, so allergic skin disease can be very frustrating, but easily treated with the help of your veterinarian. They'll prescribe antibiotics or allergy shots or pills or the combination of the two. And I'm gonna make a whole YouTube video on this. I'll put the link in my description below of exactly what treatments I use when I treat these allergic skin disease patients. Dogs that don't seek veterinary care can really harm themselves from licking their paws nonstop if they're not treated. So their paws can become so swollen, inflamed, and red, and infected, and dogs can develop a fever and a systemic illness. So you really do need to pay attention to how much your dogs are licking their paws. And I really see this in my Bulldog and my Frenchie patients. So I actually had a case where the dog was neglected and he was a bulldog and his paws were so swollen, pus was coming out of them and a huge crevice was formed like an earthquake and it split open and I could see his muscles and his tendons. So this was a very difficult case that started out from paw licking and irritation. We had to soak his paw every day. He was on strong antibiotics, IV fluids, and this is all something that could have been prevented if he was taken to the vet early on. So dogs have a totally different perception of pain than we do. If their paws are itchy, they will keep itching and gnawing at it all the way until their bone can be exposed. So I had a case of a German Shepherd dog who was older and she was gnawing at her feet all the way until her bones were showing. So this was another very hard case for me that could have been avoided if the owners noticed her licking and chewing at her paws, which probably was going on months before. All right guys, so after hearing those stories, you know my advice is gonna be to bring your dog to the veterinarian if they're licking or chewing their paws because it's highly treatable. If you guys have any experience with your dogs with allergic skin disease or paw licking and any other treatments or advice, please put them in the comments below. And like always, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you guys back here for some more videos.